Pokemon Go's new Dynamax mechanic is kind of baffling. It seems like there's a lot going on, but no actual point so far, or at least not one that I understand. Hopefully this video ages badly, and we all know what's up with it by the time this is uploaded. But that's okay. I don't need to understand everything. In fact, I only need to understand one thing. I think you know what that is. From the moment Dynamax was released, I became increasingly aware that this feature held something special for me and my fans. Within a day or two of release, a couple of comments popped up on my channel about how weird the throwing mechanics for Dynamax Pokemon were. Strange catch mechanics, you say? Congratulations, Niantic. You have my attention. So I rushed to test them out, trying to figure out what I had to do to get an encounter with the Dynamax Pokemon. My first encounter was... interesting. Just as those commenters had, I found myself asking what in Dog's name was going on with the throw. It was slow, floaty, and entirely unfamiliar. As Dragon Force once poignantly said, so far away. Despite the oddity, I do have to admit the Dynamax encounters are stylish. The gigantic Darth Wulu, the huge ball, the calm, slow, swooshing arc of the throw. My god, they even have a tasteful red outline. Existing throwing skills are of questionable use. On top of that, the extreme rarity of Dynamax encounters so far has made it extremely difficult to suss out their throwing mechanics. A perfect challenge. Fortunately, despite only knowing how to earn two Dynamax Wulu encounters, I was able to use a secret practice mode to attempt as many throws as I wanted. The result is more than 15 excellent throws on Dynamax Wulu, some of which I'm showing you now. It turns out that due to the slow throw, the ball curves much less than normally expected. That means that when starting the throw from the lower corner, the ball must be thrown almost straight down the center in order to achieve an excellent throw. Here, I've plotted the release points for 10 of the excellent throws that I achieved on Dynamax Wulu. That is, this shows the point at which my finger leaves the screen. Of course, exact throwing technique will differ for other Dynamax Pokemon, but for now, Wulu is the only one I've had the pleasure of attempting. In order to achieve an excellent throw, the catch circle must be less than 30% of the size of the gray circle. It must be this size or smaller for Dynamax Wulu. Or at least, we assume. No one has rigorously tested this for Dynamax Pokemon, as far as I know. With all of that excitement out of the way, it is important to say that excellent throws on Dynamax encounters are probably of limited actual value. For Wulu at least, the catch is extremely easy, with or without the excellent throw bonus. Nonetheless, we seek to conquer the most rare excellent throws possible, and Dynamax Pokémon are no exception. I will add more Dynamax Pokémon to this collection as I unlock them. Let me know in the comments what you think about Dynamax throwing, and if you've been as confused as I have about these new mechanics. Please like and subscribe to see the rest of the excellent Pokédex. I'll see you next time.